Here we are, the kingdom of Firene. What a beautiful place. Isn't it? And no sign of the corrupted, so that's good. That was quite a trip. Crossing the sea all the way from Lethos. I hope you're not worn out. I'm fine. Good, good. Listen, I'm sorry for twisting your arm to come with me. Alfred, it's all right. I wanted to come. How about before we arrive at the castle, you tell me more about this kingdom of yours? Happy to. Let's see. Firne is one of the four nations of Elios in the southwest. It's ruled by my mother, Queen Ev. We're known as a uh, land of plenty. Our people value peace above all else. We haven't seen war for centuries. You must come from a long line of capable leaders. That's kind of you to say. Peace doesn't always come easy. Mother had to hammer out a non-aggression pact with our neighbors. The pact says there won't be war between us, Solm, and Brodia. Right. Solm, the Queendom of Freedom, and Brodia, the Kingdom of Might. You've got it. Solm is an open-minded country. They've always had good relations with Firene. But an alliance with Brodia took some doing. Their king's an ambitious man. He's always launching attacks on Elusia to expand his own territory. I take it Elusia isn't in the Alliance. No. Honestly, they're so far away, we don't interact with them too much. We know it's snowy there, with long winters, and that some Elusians worship the Fell Dragon. The Fell Dragon? It's troubling, I know. But people can believe what they believe. Sorry, I didn't bring it up to turn you against Elusia. It's not them I hate. It's the Fell Dragon. Him and the one who killed my mother. Can you tell me more about the emblem ring that was entrusted to Firene? Oh, sure. It's the Ring of the Caring Princess. Doesn't look like anything special. Until I met you and Marth, I thought the emblems were legends. I can't wait to tell my sister they exist. She'll really be knocked for a loop. You have a sister? Yeah, the Princess of Firene, Saline. She's at the castle with Mother right now. Princess Saline. I look forward to meeting her. Just call her Saline. I'm sure you two will get along great. Here's Flora Milltown. Castle's close now. We'll just cut through here and... <sighs> Something's off. What is it? I think there might be trouble ahead. Oh no. The Corrupted, they're everywhere. I can't stand to see them overrunning this peaceful town. I have to drive them away. Divine One, will you help me? Of course. Danger looms from every side. I fear we will never make it to my brother. Princess Saline, I beg you to make your retreat. We'll handle this. More of the fiends might be on the way. Hurry! Louis! Chloe! You can't possibly expect me to... It is our sworn duty to protect the princess. We will hold the line for you as long as we must. You have to leave. If you should fall here, who warns Prince Alfred of the invasion to come? I concede the point, but I'll return for you both. Please hold out until then. <laughs> Apologies, Chloe. It pains me greatly to separate you from Princess Saline for even a relatively brief amount of time. Might I say, I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get to see you run off with her highness yourself. A knight should never leave his princess's side. The sooner we win, the sooner that will come to pass. What say you, Chloe? Shall we? Yes, let's. Before you begin a battle, you can manage your items and boomerangs and a team of allies who will join you. But your preparations are complete, select fight to begin battle. Now, uh, let us get into emblem wings, because, uh... We basically have one that is available. Select emblem wings to put one of your allies as emblems. Once partnered, an ally can sync with an emblem in battle. 
I play an ally with an emblem, so I can ally followed by an emblem wing. And since we got a few other extras, I suppose giving them to some of the others would not hurt. And the slightest. So, um... Let's, um... Hmm. Well, I mean... Canto, Canto, as far as I know, is a good ability to have, so, uh... The sooner we can possibly bond it, the better. So, uh... For now, let us... Move... Our bond was more so far to... Uh... Why do I want to ask the question? And it'll probably be best to get Canto and just... Get that before it's a little too late, so, uh, Sigurd, let's do that. Leave it to me. And, um, hmm. I'll give Moth to Hoffman. Mars, understood. Now, uh, we basically got all these emblem wings attached, but, uh... Still see his bond wings. Bond wings from five emblem heroes. Commander Anna's gives us a plus two resistance to adjacent allies. Serena's fortified defense grants plus two to defense to adjacent allies for one turn at the start of player phase. Could be very helpful. And Alphonse grants attack plus two to adjacent allies, so. Got some basic buffs, not anything too bad or terrible, but could be very helpful. I think... Let's have Shoeno on Bushwan. Let's go ahead and have Etia have some attack up. And... Mm, uh, let's have Fram equip this. Sorry, take inventory, yada yada, yada organize your, your equipment stuff, to our regular alpha your allies, allies for envoys, like optimize equipment, quick return and give an ally, yada yada yada. Uh, you have an extra ordinary that would be real helpful for Fram right now because, uh, see, basically we're out of it. Uh, I think... Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to actually... <laughs> Despite me saying I wouldn't be using those weapons, uh, I quickly changed my mind, because, uh... This is hard mode, and, uh, anything can... anything... anything good will be really helpful. Sword of Alphonse, Prince of Asket. Grants attack plus free for one turn if user has 50 HP or less at the start of the turn. Wow. For now, Ton. No, I don't know how that's pronounced. Acts of Commander Anna. Commander Anna. Grant move plus one for one turn when user has 40% of HP or less at the start of a turn. Really not that helpful, but, uh. Vanda has too much HP for that to be of use, so, uh, let's give that to. Ushuan. Just in case. And, uh, the Lance. Well, go to Alpha because he is our only Lance user. As of right now. Lance of Shoino, Princess of Asker. If that's attack minus two for one turn on adjacent foes at the start of player phase. This could really be helpful. In fact, if I if I plan this carefully, I could bring this over to an upcoming ally of ours. Which would be really, really freaking helpful. Uh, there isn't much else we can do as an end of... How many things do I have? Okay, Dad. Ten of them. Using your selection, choose what allies you would join in combat if they toggle on and off. I find the green and highlighted the green cannot be excluded. Each map has the same number of allies who can join the fray. 
Which in this case is pretty much everyone. We can swap spaces. To make sure <laughs> our units have a much better time at surviving. Which, uh, not much that I can do now, but, uh, we have to bring a TA, like, right. Let's just say right here. Um, not much apart from having to possibly try and, uh, <laughs> not die again, but, uh, why now? I think that'll do it. Let's begin the fight. Alfred! Sailing? What are you doing here? I thought you were with Mother. I was, but Alfred, the Illusion army is marching on the castle. What? Why? I cannot say. Before they arrived, Mother sent me to warn you. But then we were ambushed on our way to Flora Port. Louis and Chloe stayed behind so that I might have a chance to escape. Please! We must hurry back to them! Absolutely. Pardon me, Princess Saline, but do you have the emblem ring? Yes, Mother gave it to me. Why do you... Goodness gracious! The Divine Dragon? You're here! You're awake! I am. May I say, it is truly an honor. The emblem ring is right here. Please, Divine One, it is yours. <sighs> the words... They're coming to me. Care for us. Emblem of Echoes. I am Emblem Celica. I detest violence, but I will always fight to defend the innocent. Thank you for answering my call. So, this is the emblem that was in Firinae's ring. Emblem Celica? How marvelous! Divine One, with your blessing, and hers of course, I would like to fight by Celica's side. I must protect the people of this village and ensure Louis and Chloe's safety. I entrust this ring to you, Celine. Sailing, Louis, and Chloe joined the group. I won't be able to get very far with these archers everywhere. How about this? I take care of the archers and you deal with the magic users. Good idea. While their spells will go right through your armor, I'm resistant to magic. So leave the mages to me. It's not so bad protecting each other, now is it? Indeed. This is a nice change of pace. Defeat Warding, the Nadian and Ford of the Battle. If you're heading to battle while connected to the network, spirits representing other places past battles may appear on the map. Yellow spirits appear where many allied units are fallen, and experience the bond experience by winning these spaces. Purple spirits appear where many foes are fallen, winning these spaces pick up the iron stage left behind. Basically, a thing carried over from three houses. But, uh, you may have noticed that there are some spaces available. I don't like Ryan the Open. So, uh. Ah, uh, let me fix this problem real quick. Look at that house. The gate is wide open. We'd better warn them to lock up so the corrupted don't get in. If you visit houses to warn them of danger, you may receive idols or gold as a reward. To visit, move an island there and do an end thing. Foes may try to reach houses before you and destroy them. In which case, you will not receive the items in question, so, uh, if you're able to, do what you must. But, uh, I will have to give it to the guy, um... Alright, that actually does a lot more damage, actually. Uh, let's... Let's bust into the weapon, shall we? <laughs> nice. I'll do my best. I don't really trust myself to, uh... No, wait. Yeah, nope. He, he's, that's an armored unit, I think. Yep, that is a... 
as it's a thing I do not want, and uh, I'm going to get rid of it immediately. Stunning Wisp, engaging. My muscles are yours. Yeah, I'll, I'll find this is actually not bad, honestly. But, uh, yeah. Creepy on hand. This guy is dead. I will protect you. Uh, I will have Vanda go up and basically take, basically bait out that enemy while I go ahead and visit. What's that? Monsters here? Gosh, all thanks for letting me know. Take this; might come in useful. Davenant obtained, which would be helpful if a unit like him would have get it. Yeah. The divine dragon looked right at me. None of them can really reach that far. Whatever you say. Uh, that's just. Yeah, let's bring it to you up there, and before I forget, let's uh, do a bit of a thing of peel. Thank you for warning me. Here, use this to bring peace to our land. Two thousand gold. Not much, but still is something. Now, uh, right now we can distinguish a difference between a Pegasus Knight, or a, at least a flying unit, and an armored unit. Louis here is really, really crappy with his resistance. He is, however, great in being a defensive wall. And believe me. This guy's gonna be sticking around for a very, very, very long time because of how good he is. Chloe, on the, on the other hand, actually has a really decent resistance. And that'll be Save really helpful for taking out these magic units, which Louis is very, very weak to. So, uh, let's get rid of this one because, uh, they are so close to Louis. A right and proper end. Uh, okay. Just out of range of that, okay? Uh, now. Same name Celica. Emblem Celica. It is an honor. So it was your voice I heard on the way from the castle. I am glad you're here with me. I feel the same, Saline. I will fight by your side from now on. Together, we will protect that which you hold dear. Thank you. Emblem Seneca wields powerful magic attacks. He is a valuable asset against corrupted foes. The sync skill Horny Stance reflects some of the damage received from corrupted foes against the attacker. The engaged weapon Seraphim deals bonus damage to corrupted foes. Because, you know, angels and demons. <laughs> if you don't know the symbolism there, that's pretty much the symbolism they're trying to represent. The Eight skill Echo allows a unit to in in initiate combat twice using a turn at a cost of 50% damage. The engage attack Warp Ragnarok teleports the user to a space near a distant enemy and attacks with powerful magic. This could be very, very helpful. With Celica's help, I ought to be able to reach Chloe and Louis more quickly. I'll hold off on warping, or I'll hold off on engaging with Celica for now. So uh, let's just get rid of this guy. Need some help? Ah. <laughs> and now it's time for the end of the phase. See, look at that. <laughs> Not a single arrow can pierce through Louis Sealed. He is just that good. Please miss. Okay.
<laughs> These houses are ripe for the picking. Time for a good old-fashioned village pillage. The crystal. It's glowing. Where did you get that? It was in the ring vault. Vander found it after the battle at Lethos Castle. Why? Do you know what this is? A draconic time crystal. An artifact capable of reversing time itself. There is a limit to its power, but still, it could give us a keen advantage. Time crystal, huh? So it's not just a pretty piece of jewelry. Since we have it, I suggest we put it to use. Give it a try. The Draconic Time Crystal is now available. You can use the Draconic Time Crystal to rewind and retry actions you take in battle. Like the Time Crystal from the menu. Not from the overworld period of time because uh, apparently many people have accidentally pressed that button when trying to play the game normally. I think they took that as a complaint. Go up and down, just like how far back you would like to go, and confirm with the A button. Many people probably do not like the fact that this accent exists, but, uh... We are here. Now, uh, since we are playing on hard mode, uh... We have a limit of 10. So, uh, we will have to be careful. If you're playing on normal mode, you basically get infinite uses, so... Yeah, there's that. What's next? Go ahead and just... Yeah, just attack this enemy. Uh, trade with him. Give that up. Nah, no game. I guess we'll have to wait a little longer for the, for to solve the engage the Celica, but uh, this is fine. I'll take this. Especially what if it's a little bit better to actually get Sadie in some experience. Let's just go ahead and. Attack this guy. Just wait right here. And gonna heal you up for trying to get some experience. And then bring you along over here to get rid of this guy. Also know that we every other unit engaged form will remain the same. Their hair will just basically change to that of the character they're trying to represent. Or something else entirely, in the case of Sigurd. Uh, do that. That's not that, that's just good that. Looks like I broke him. I will essentially go ahead and wait for this guy to move on over to Vandom. But um, over here, um, yeah, this presents a little bit of a problem. Um, okay, they're not all they're not all units, so we're fine. <laughs> and now I'm going to go ahead and attack you since you can't do a thing to me. <laughs> and we'll just go ahead and end the turn. Basically, you know the outcome at that point, so just, just, just gotta skip that. Oh, you have a hand axe. 
<laughs> that was me, that. There we go. My apologies. And, uh, despite the weapon fans being quite plain damn, uh, yeah, Louis and Blake. So, just as a point of reference, if a unit is not an armored unit, the brake system will basically affect them. I'm just gonna, have, gonna go ahead and... Never underestimate me! Okay! <laughs> okay then, Clan, if you say so. Uh, just gonna go ahead and trade that hand axe over to Vanda because, uh, Clan's not gonna be able to use it. Uh, well, made halfway. We'll meet halfway. Thanks for that. I think at this point I'm just gonna have. I'm just gonna have my unit go over and try to be helpful to everybody else. I can keep going. Along with Bushwan, so uh, now will be a perfectly good time for us to engage with Seneca and take care of some problematic enemies over on the other side. Emblem, engage. I feel a great power within. We have united, haven't we? My resolve is strong. I will protect my people. I will protect everyone. Oh, back, Noak. I am resolved to fight for peace. Hold on, you two. I am on my way. Um. Let's go ahead and get rid of this archer unit. <laughs> My apologies. Yeah. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. And love it up. Love it up for the bonds. Is it go time? Uh, how far can you go? No, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna move over here. Uh, target to you on the map. Doesn't take a turn. Chloe, I am relieved to see you're all right. You too, Princess Celine. I was able to find Alfred and the Divine Dragon, no less. After that, the Divine One summoned Emblem Celica from within my ring. A noble dragon summoning ancient spirits to save the day. That sounds just like a fairy tale. It does. Now that I have this power, let's give this story a happy ending, shall we? Let's do it. Yep, so we're gonna basically fall into the that guy and still not have any consequences for wasted. I'm ready to dig in. Okay! <laughs> well, sorry. I was hoping to get that experience through me, but that is. More lance units coming down from the bottom, so I'm perfectly okay with that. Let's just go ahead and talk. Louis, thank goodness. Princess Saline, how relieved I am to see you unharmed. Hmm? You seem different. The Divine Dragon brought Emblem Celica forth from my ring. I am imbued with her strength. Pardon? The Divine Dragon is here? Indeed. I will explain everything later. For now, let us restore order here. I promise I will never leave you behind again. Come, let us fight together. As you wish. Princess Saline and Emblem Celica. What a pair. Uh, yeah, what a pair. Uh, give me a friend, Thank you. And now... I was hit away by four, but we need physical attack by at least five, so I would do just that. 
And we don't have to wait there. Uh, what of the reason skill? Admiration. If two female allies are adjacent within two spaces, this unit takes two less damage during combat. It's pretty specific, but if you can get if you can get this to work, it'll work out just fine. Oh, oh yeah, why right, I need to move. Uh, yeah, I guess it would be a good time to engage. Lend me your strength. And now, part of my blue hair is changed to represent a character from Sigurd's game. It's not the correct hair from Sigurd himself, because we already have a blue-haired unit, but, uh... Yeah, that exists, um... That also possibly grants me the danger of being in danger for an axe unit, so, uh... Let me just swap over to my Rider's Bane. Just to become a Lance unit for a few turns. Oh, hey, why did I have a jam that I could resist? Whoops. <laughs> Probably should've done something with that, but, uh, oh well. No damage. At least it's two damage and the, the enemy is not able to get a crit. So I will have to be a little more careful about those details in the future. We're losing ground, are we? Well that's easily remedied. Release the corrupted! And we sometimes call reinforcements during battle. They often arrive from ports all from the edge as well as the map, so be on your your guard. So uh yeah, that is the thing. Your lovely one elf. Hmm, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, no, um, I uh, so don't know. All right, well, we'll see about that. Um, let's just go ahead and, uh, <laughs> that is not very helpful. Okay, what is doing override is not gonna do a lot of damage, it's just doing a just do a regular attack. I'm gonna probably be severely hurt a little, but uh anything to actually get this armor unit out of the way. Ow! I'm just gonna wait down. Get rid of this enemy for me, please. The strength of the stewards. And um, just use the hand axe. Onward. <laughs> the little sweep of them, my dude, you did not need to be second steward of the dragon. Vander, you did not have to go overkill for that one unit, I swear to god. Although I basically am a deity, so uh I fight another day. For the love of me, I guess. Probably gonna feed a bush swamp, oh well. You know, now would be a good time to actually show off uh <laughs> the time crystal. Not for dumb mistakes like this, mind you, uh... I don't tend to use that for small dumb mistakes like that, but, uh... Had to sort it off at least once. If at all possible. Um... I yes, I'm um, starting to see the problem, um... You'll just look at what Fiendo. I go right ahead. Huh. 
doing like four damage because of things, but uh, this is fine. I have a job, what am I doing? Not enough as much as I thought it would be, but uh... Just do that. There we go. I want to help you. Um, I think they're still in range though. Okay. As long as the as long as the tension is for that was really, it's fine. Oh boy. So, got with him, but that was caught. Soul, the rest it deserves. Oh boy, okay. Okay, yeah, there's one. Should have probably seen it coming. What? Again, one away from actually killing it entirely. Uh, go ahead and heal me up. Thank you. I'm all set. Uh, who needs to level up more? Ah, both of these are armored units. Crap. Um. Okay, don't want to move. Can't wait to move them down. Okay, that's those. Uh, I can't with the experience more than I do. Though it would be really helpful if I level up soon rather than later. Don't fear for me. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, just gonna put. Louis right here. Actually, can you... No, that's not good. <laughs> I am putting Louis here. I'm gonna make him wait right here. I'm going to attack this quarter from here. To help you. Get Selena level up. And uh, essentially get Koe to safety. Uh, I will move right beside here just for the sake of being inside a thimble. Is it my turn? Uh, just go ahead and be in a bush and restore that HP. Nice attempt, loser. Oh, hi. I uh, didn't realize you were so close. Um, right here would be a good example of COVID units actually being good because, uh, much like these tickets, uh, the forts also have a have the same thing as this, but uh, have the also additional terrain effect of healing upon the start of the next turn. It's not gonna be as much help for some, but uh, we'll be able to do it. Uh, I'm gonna have to get you out of sight, good I've 
The floor is A right and proper end. Sheesh, god dang, Chloe. Freaking god dang, okay. Do I want to compete for my affection? Sheesh. I'll forget to level up. Not the best one in the world, but we'll take it. Um. You need it? Yeah, Clan needs the levels. For the Divine Dragon. Level 4. Uh, Alright, um. Need to move me out of the way. Is it a convoy? Yada yada yada. Uh, I can move Celica over to here to get that. And I can move myself to here to get that. And let's... Let's try to be a little cautious about advancing, do we? Okay. Just bring everybody a little closer to beat up the boss. No reason in particular, just... Just cause. Oh, wait, uh, I forgot off it. Oh well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to bring him up here anyways. Hmm, some nice little bonus things with her though. Uh, that's a sign of danger. I could kill this guy. As long as I had. Okay. <sighs> Fire Emblem does have a thing about lying to you about the freaking accuracy, so uh, that is the thing. Power blooms in me. Um. I want to be able to fight some experience for some, because uh, at some point in this journey we will have to start dipping some units in favor of others. Soon I'll be a legend. The man who captured the Princess of Pyrene. Fence. I'll just heal you up because with, with the way I have, uh, it's gonna be a rather easy sweep just to defeat this guy. That is not really helpful at all for him. Uh, sorry to say. Uh, Jeez, I can do no damage, okay. Put me out of the equation. That's just end is in, in an epic way. Your strength. Am I almost in Delu? I 
would have won, you know. If they'd given me real soldiers. Well, yeah, I don't think real soldiers would have helped either, I'm just saying. But the is at home. If you need it, you know, take three or two or more, you need to use this one HP and start combat and deals plus two damage during combat. Yeah, you know, only surprisingly feeling that one of our new units gets the praise. Good job, Salian. life. Thank you. It was nothing, really. I only did what anyone else would do. Are you here by yourself? I am. I saw the fighting and thought I could help. You're braver than I am. I can't stand the corrupted. I was so startled I couldn't think. You really did save my life. I see. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm the Divine Dragon. What a lovely name. I'm Vale. Vale. Might I interrupt? What is it? Even with the Corrupted gone, it may not be safe for her out here. Perhaps we should escort her home, or to an inn. That's a good idea. Hey, Vale, do you live around here? Who are you talking to exactly? Huh? She's gone. Divine One! Saline, did you see a girl pass this way? Small, with long hair? Barefoot? No, I'm afraid I didn't see anyone matching that description. <sighs> okay, thanks. Did you need something? I wanted to thank you. Alfred told me that you accepted Firinay's request for aid, and your help in the battle was the difference between victory and defeat. Thank you. Truly. Don't mention it. Alfred and I are friends. I was happy to help. Friends? He said that? Imagine speaking so casually with the Divine Dragon. Please, allow me to apologize on his behalf. There's no need to put me on a pedestal. I just woke up, and the world is new to me. I make mistakes like anyone. Is that so? I thought surely the Divine Dragon would be an all-seeing, all-powerful being. But here I find that you are rather more... human than I expected. Perhaps we can be friends. Then what do you say, Celine? Friends? I would be honored. You can adopt the animals you encounter while exploring and bring them back to the Somnial. If you have the love to adopt them, that is. After you adopt them, you can let your animals graze in the farmyard. They may even drop goods and ingredients that you can use. If you donate to countries using the own board, you'll be able to talk more animals. Basically, what I just said earlier. Hmm. I'm glad we found Celine, but I'm worried about the castle. Let's hit there as soon as we can. Uh. Why would the Elysians invade Fionne? I hope that mother was safe at the castle. Thank you. Hello, I'm Chloe. I can't thank you enough for saving Princess Celine's life. Oh my. The Divine One, I presume. I am Louie. Thank you for coming to my princess's aid. Yeah. The flowers in this village are so vibrant, but my hometown's metals are still have to meet. Um, you can't adopt this male donkey because you don't know how to raise it. So what the thing is, what I is, is that I can't raise an ass. <sighs> I am so accustomed to the battlefield. I must work to remember the peacefulness of Lithos. Bond fragment attained. You always make your bond fragment if you have conversations about exploring. Use bond fragments on the Sonya to create bond rings or train resemblance. But we haven't quite done yet. When you finish exploring, you will receive any available bond fragments that you missed. Orange. Orange, you're glad to see it. Bushwa, what are you doing all the way out here? Alright. Look at that clear water. 
What's with this war? I could be fishing right now. Aha! Get the barn fragments. Uh, sheep. Uh, the only thing I can adapt otherwise is dog. Doggo. Yeah, that pretty much summarizes up everything we can do here. So, um, you can talk to the other NPCs. I'm just not gonna. I'm gonna grab this before I forget. Yes. Wow, I took out a lot of enemies this time, huh? Just glad to help out the divine one. A hundred, wow, okay. Thank you so much. I feel like much. I got swanky, you know? Thanks for finding behind me, divine one. Let's go ahead and deport for the next chapter. Hey, folks. Mind if we bend your ear a minute? Hmm? Name's Durton. I'm an armorer. And this here's Anis, purveyor of goods. We saw you trading thumps with those things. Figured you might be in the market for supplies. Yes. If you need, we'd be happy to provide you with quality weapons and items. Anything to defeat those creatures. They pose a terrible threat to traveling merchants like us. How would you feel about moving to our base? You can sell your wares from there. Um, <clears throat> Divine One. What? We don't have any facilities. These two could be a good addition. You're gonna let us open shops at your base? If you'd like to. We'll need plenty of weapons and items from here on out. It's a haven. You won't find any creatures there. I need to the You got yourself a bargain. Can't wait to do business together. Thank you for this. I will do my utmost to ensure you receive the finest items. You receive 10,000 in military funds from Vanta. Where are we hiding this? Use the world map to select a destination or move to the next chapter. To continue the story, move the player to the next destination and press the A button. Manage your inventory or return to the thumbnail using the menu. Which, uh, we have a little bit of time to do that, so... To the thumbnail. I want to also hear stuff from the expansion pass because uh, yes, that is the thing, and yes, we will go over it in time. Can I manage the skills? Select banned skills for the inventory manager. To see how his skills and crit inherited ones. Allies can inherit skills for emeralds in the wing, in the, in the wing table on the thumbnail. Yes. Emeralds may spend the hours here becoming a battle queen without combat and arms. I may. Floor is safe for now, but I'm worried about fearing their castle. Let's just go as soon as we can. Oh yeah, no, no horseman do it. No. And now we have a place for items and weapons. I'm not gonna do much of stuff at the moment because uh <laughs> we are nearing the end of the episode. I'm sitting waiting for the muscle stimulants I had with my meal to be absorbed. You know, as you do. But uh, in here is the wig room. Note the specific other pedestals in question. Uh, don't worry about those. For, don't worry about those for now. The wing table is a space to interact with emblems and their wings. You can inherit skills from emblems here. Using barn fragments, you can create barn wings or combine them strengths and exist ex existing ones. You can also deepen, bar deepen barn resemblance by polishing the tarnas off of combat of, of combat of the wings. It's, uh, it's a very specific thing. But uh, let's go ahead and polish some wings, because uh, trust me, they're going to probably need some. It will take some work. Now, I believe... Each swing has a specific spot.
But I don't think I'm going to be a fine. Care of the ring. Or it's probably all close to my deals on an Anna. But yeah. Just a little parsing. We know it. Um, it's only fair we would do it with Silene. I hope you'll clean it well. Your cleaning skills are impressive. This ring is filthy, don't you think? Thank you. Now I can stand by you with pride. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Didn't need that much cleaning, actually. Uh, bond wings. You can create bond wings using bond fragments. This is essentially the mini gacha of the game. You know, like Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Bond wings increase stats and allow you to earn SP, though not the same as the other emblem wings do. You will need a few of these. Trust me, you are pretty much going to need them. They will be extremely helpful. And though I don't want to waste my bond fragments right now, I'll just create one from each of them. Got a bronze for uh, Ogma. Got a silver for a Fae. And a silver for, for Lewin. If you support countries enough to waste their donation levels, they will, they will reward you with gifts. With a high donation level, a country will have more rare monsters that you can earn bonus or gold, bonus gold or experience for defeating. A high donation level also means you'll find more, more materials while exploring in that country and more other things. Which would be very, very helpful. So for now, we're just gonna do to the next level. And trust me, we can spend the rest of the money right here and now, but uh... Let's not, for the sake of just being fair. And I uh, grab all these. If you're on 90. I think this should be open by this point? No, it isn't, okay. Not until the next chapter, I see how it is. Okay. Uh, let's see, who's out in the open right now? Oh, well, Alfred, well, he is. So right there, I'm done. If I may. Is he saying that just because he's doing what? Okay, properly. Huh. Let's go ahead and grab some of the items on the way. Nuts. More nuts. Getting deja vu here. I think I'm starting to get deja vu because I've got no one there. And a piece there too. Uh huh. Ah, uh, no matter where I look, it's also lovely and picturesque. I, <laughs> I really like your casual outfit, ma'am. Good day. <laughs> Hi, fam. Okay. I love how lively the sound is these these days. Plus, I can talk to you every day, which is the best. Get this item over here. I said over here. Thank you, pretty pebble. <laughs> Have a good gentlemanly meeting today, aren't we? Magnificent. Such magnificent scenery here. I look forward to taking the store through the gardens. Oh my! Oh, middle town was a fine display of skill. We move on. We move on filling a castle when you are ready. What? Now I believe yes. I don't know why I took specifically going into here, but how does something end? The underwater was suffused with a mysterious orb. And, uh. Lots of bond fragments. And a mysterious, strange creature. Oh my! What in the world is this creature? Ah, so you have found it at last. Vander? What do you know about this little one? Not much, unfortunately. It began to appear shortly before you awoke from your slumber. Queen Lumera once said it is something of a guardian spirit for the Somniel. Claimed to have played with it in her youth. She did? So, this creature has been alive for a very long time. You know, I do feel a sort of affinity toward it. 
It seems to have taken a liking to you as well, Divine One. Would it please you to care for it? If it is truly the guardian spirit of the Somniel, doing so may bring some manner of benefit. What a great idea! Now that I've met it, I'd like us to be friends. Let's see. I'll call you... This being the original name is Sami. And as much as I would like to keep that original name, we're going to do a little bit of a uplifting mood for a friend of mine. Hope she doesn't mind. Yes, I like that name. It's nice to meet you. I hope you like your new name. It looks well pleased. Don't forget to say hello to it when next you see it around. The enigmatic hippie has watched over the land for untold ages. You've taken care of... Something wonderful might happen. So we hear a little bit of a dog. A little bit of a dog on the one that we can actually feed and pet. And dress up. As far as I know, there was a like and dislike for zombie in particular. List of set things will probably be on screen. Because I, I'm too tired to even bother looking it up at the moment. <laughs> Let's give you a way of food. And for doing that, we get bond fragments. Now, time to pet the doggo. Ah, when I back out, it does it. Okay. And now, it's time to dress it up. We have accessories. And scarf color. Which is a real shame because there's nothing in here. <laughs> there's no favorite color of mine in here. <laughs> Other than maybe like blue, but that's about it. <laughs> but I end, end the spirit. Purple. So for the accessories we have. For the descending guardian spirit, the dashing hair has a dignified flair. With this distinguished accessory, even posture seems to improve. We have the shades. A must have vacation item for looking chill in the summer heat. For the Guardian Spirit who wants to go from cute to cool as one accessory. AKA the deal with the shades. A crowd of in the house from the meadow where Tippy likes to nap. The answer to the question What's this tranquility smell like? It's very cute. A wig style to match the player. Setting aside whether it actually looks good, Tippy appears utterly delighted. And, uh, I believe this applies for the female Irregardless, because, uh, we're too lazy to match the Avatar's hairstyle onto a dog, I guess. But I'd like you to meet Mr. Angry Eyes! <laughs> Dramatic eyebrows that bring face of communication to the next level. With these, you'll always know if Tippy is surprised. <laughs> but uh, I'll keep the shades. We also have some accessories for the tail. But fine hands are not here to be and refuse to budge. It is safe for so, for so long that no one can tell if it's even a real butterfly. This weapon is so light that Tippy will forget it's there. To see the Guardian Spirit jump in surprise whether it sees it is pure joy. This spell on the red and white cord feels like a lucky charm. It tingles merely, making it fun to walk or run. A pair of fluffy artificial wings that seem to float in the breeze. But well, watch out, the whale may start to believe they can fly, so stay away from this. <laughs> and Grand Garb. For more time, the design of the Divine Dragon tailored especially for the Guardian Spirit, who wears this with pride and a hint of nostalgia. This is the exact garb that Queen the Mayor had. Down exactly to the right details. Just in a smaller form.
if we get Sami's affinity up to a certain amount, it will start to follow us. However, said affinity will start to drain after like every battle, so uh, make sure to keep a good eye on Sami. Must protect the Sami. Or in my case, to protect the tippy. Spain these or peel. And now whenever we, we return from a battle, they will bring along items. Very dandy. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me on this holy ground, but might we be off to fill in a castle soon? Thank you. I'll give you a pebble. Thank you. As a church as always. It's like this. I've not been here for centuries. Please, the family warrior family. Do take care of them. Hey well, don't worry. I also be back with the support conversation. I need to show off on that thing. Also, hearts. And more horse manure, because that's exactly the spot I would find it in. Strange training is now available. Ugh. I'm a steward of the dragon. I gotta be strong, and I'm not strong enough. Oh, my back. Okay. And what? <laughs> Hello, Divine One. Can't, can you do some strength training? <laughs> okay, I'll go get Prince Alfred. If I'm not back in a few minutes, send someone to find me. In strength training, you can choose from three different exercises to get temporary boosts to the player's stats. Each exercise plays differently and affects different stats. Try with top scores in all of them. And you unlock more difficulties for each exercise as you progress through the story. What'll it be? What'll it be? For push-ups, our strength may get a boost. For sit-ups, our HP may get a boost. And for squats, our dexterity may get a boost. Hmm. I think I'll go for sit-ups, as painful as it's going to be. Sit-ups are about button mashing endurance. Mash quickly to raise the bar to the top, but then if it hits the bottom. Raise the bar quickly will gradually get more difficult, but doing it quickly will improve your twing. And get fit. How hard do you want to go? Now we're doing a normal. One training point. Oh, no, Tippy will help if it, out if it likes you. Okie dokie. Okay. Perfect! You got this! Looking good! You've got this! Perfect! You've got this! Looking good! Such the other thumb! You've got this! Looking good! You've got this! Looking good! Perfect! Keep it up! What do you mean I gotta get a last second? Fuck off! I'm so proud! Don't have a triple last second, but fuck off! It should be plus two in the next map. And we get to the bonfire type of it. We're getting any bonuses or what, but you wanna get to your swing? Let's no! Let's do this again sometime. <laughs> I'm good with doing it just once every time. Okay. Now, let's end off the episode with the support. Thank you. I really enjoyed our tea party today. Thanks for inviting me, Saline. The pleasure is all mine, Divine One. Our conversation made for an excellent spice over an already fine tea. The tea was fine, wasn't it? That floral note it had was almost unbelievably good. I'm glad you appreciated it. The leaves were grown in Firenay, you know. The delicate, subtle taste embodies the spirit of our kingdom. It is my utmost favorite. Yeah, 
I've heard the Furanese prefer the pastoral life over any kind of open conflict. That really came through in this tea. There's a Furanese folktale I think you might find interesting. Our royal palace is home to a spirit who ensures happiness for the virtuous. For thieves or interlopers, however, the spirit drives them off with mischievous tricks. <laughs> Imagine, driven off by the prankish antics of a spirit. No serious consequences at all. How effective a deterrent do you suppose such a spirit really is? Even so, it's a lovely story. It's the kind of good-hearted tale that reflects the Firanese character, I think. Yes. Yes, it is. Well then, we must have tea together again sometime, Divine One. I saw in so much about this one. Not because of who bored me to ask. Let's see who wakes me up in the morning. It is I, Vander, 32nd Steward of the Dragon. Oh, are you resting? Hmm. What would be the most pleasant wake up experience? Perhaps if I deliver breakfast each morning. Yeah, so take my breakfast? Divine One. For reference, what manner of food would you enjoy upon waking? Uh, well, you see. Night, and with that, that is going to be all for now. Next time we let's play Fire Emblem Gage, we're going to be going off to Fionnay Castle. And, uh, hopefully everything is going to go fine down at the castle. Not a single thing is probably going to go for the west, knowing hard mode. This is definitely true, and you will believe me. Why are you staring at me like that? Where you can stay over the, over the nice sunrise. I'll see you guys then.